Hello everyone! Let's continue our November 2020 roundup with a rundown of the special prize winners, all of whom, as you likely saw, fought more than well enough to deserve their $20,000 bonuses. The Technique Award, for the second time in three tournaments, went to defeated playoff finalist Terunofuji, Fuji, who picked up his seventh special prize overall. He would have scooped an eighth in the form of outstanding performance had he won the title, but sadly continued his bemusing record of never having won a professional playoff. Speaking with the award in his formidable hands, the six foot four inch powerhouse said, I felt I fought coolly throughout the tournament, but only in that playoff just now did my bad habits resurface. My upper body was too straight, wasn't it? But over 15 days, I did everything I could with all my might, and believe I can carry this form into the next tournament. Asked if he could still go home satisfied, the XOR Zeki said, Well, coming into November, double figures was my goal. That I achieved. Ah, but I still regret missing out on the big one. I think my knees held up well though, that's a plus. And I also really feel that my erstwhile power is coming back day by day. Looking ahead to next year, he delivered a chilling warning to his top division rivals. Whatever frustrations I have now, I'll be sure to release in January, he began. My goal for 2021 is this and only this, to get my old rank back. Two wrestlers picked up Fighting Spirit, the first, surely no surprise, was Shimano Umi, who despite being the lowest ranked man in Division 1, stayed in the title race until the final moments of Day 14. It was the second time he'd collected the honour, the first coming on his top division debut in May last year. Speaking afterwards, he said, Honestly, my true desire was to collect this prize in fitting fashion with a win today. But, overall, I was able to impose my style fully, and now have the confidence that if I hit my rhythm, I'm going to win. Even when I lost to Takakesho on day 13, I didn't feel there was much in it at all. On next January, he says, I shall endeavour to go forward with yet more conviction, and just like in November, doggedly keep my head down so my stance doesn't collapse. His was an unconditional award, a conditional offer was made to Chiyono Kuni. The stipulation? That he reach double figures on the final afternoon by beating Koto Eko. Here's what happened. Okay. That made it two Fighting Spirit prizes overall for the man from Kokonoe Stable the first coming in May 2018. Without a doubt, I'm delighted, the 30-year-old said. The best thing was that against the backdrop of a big injury, I was able to fight calmly up there. I didn't actually know I was in line for a prize until it flashed up on the TV monitor in the corridor just before the bout. As you can imagine, you get quite tense knowing things like that are on the line, so I pretended not to see it. Finally able to approach a new year with optimism, Chionokuni said, I aim to get yet stronger in 2021, and hopefully get back even to Sanyaku level. Once you've built up a body that doesn't get injured, all you need is your fighting spirit. Congratulations to the three warriors, and we'll admire them more in our deep dives starting next week.